What is a drawing without dimensions? Just a bunch of lines, I guess, but dimensioning a drawing properly is essential. There are many tools in AutoCAD to help us annotate our drawings. Dimensioning is the process of adding measurement annotation to a drawing. Let's open up the dimensions example drawing. You can create dimensions for a variety of object types in many orientations. Linear dimensions can be horizontal, vertical, aligned, rotated, a baseline, or a continued dimension, which is a chained dimension. Dimensions can be associative, non-associative, or exploded. Associative dimensions adjust to changes in the geometric objects that they measure. I recommend that you always use associated dimensions especially if you are placing your dimensions in paper space. I'll show you some examples here. These dimensions here that I'm selecting have been done in paper space. Dimension associativity defines the relationship between your objects and the dimension object. There are three types of associativity between geometric objects and dimensions. Now, this gets kind of technical here, and I apologize for that, but it's important to know the difference because when you run into drawings that aren't using these features, it can be difficult to work with dimensions. Associative dimensions automatically adjust their locations, their orientations, and measurement values when the geometric objects associated with them are modified. So your dimension will follow the line. Dimensions in the layout may be associated to objects in model space. The dim associate system variable, D-I-M-A-S-S-O-C, should be set to 2. There are three settings for this system variable, 0, which is off, 1, and 2. When it's set to 2, the dimensions will follow the line work. So if you shorten a line, your dimension will move accordingly and will automatically be updated. A non-associative dimension, which is set to 1, will not change when the geometric objects are modified. And if it's set to 0, then it's an exploded dimension. That means that it's just a collection of separate objects, like a line or text, a block for the arrowhead, etc. It's not a dimension object. Therefore, if you want to edit that dimension, you have to delete each individual piece and recreate it, or move each piece as if it were line work. Dimensions have several distinct elements to them. They have their text, dimension lines, arrowheads, and extension lines. All of these can be controlled, defined, and altered through the dimension styles or through the properties manager. Let's go to this no dim tab. Just click on it. It's the same line work as in the dimension tab here and in the styles tab here only there are no dimensions. Creating a dimension is actually very simple. There are several ways where you can get to the different dimensions. If you're on the Home tab in the ribbon, you can go to the Annotation panel. The Annotation panel is sort of a short and condensed version of the Annotate tab. You can create dimensions right here. Click on the flyout arrow, and you have a linear dimension, which will lock the dimension in a horizontal or vertical orientation. Essentially, it will give you your x or y distance. The aligned dimension will give you the distance between two points, regardless of its rotation or angle. The angular dimension will give you the angle of your objects. You can do an arc length, a radius, the diameter, an ordinate point, and you can jog your dimension as well, especially on a radius. So in order to create any of these, just pick one. We'll start with the aligned. Now, when you dimension, you want to make sure you're using your O snaps, especially if you're dimensioning in paper space. So turn on your O snaps, or you can always type in endpoint. Let's pick down here. Type in end again. Click up here, and there you go. This is 100 feet long. <laughs> this is a pretty big piece of steel or wood or something here, but that's okay. The units really right now are not as important. We'll go over how to set units and dimensions later, but that's it. You pick two points. Pick another point, 
and your second, and then you pick your point where you want your dimension to be shown. It's really that simple. Now let's try a radius. You can only put a radius or a diameter on an arc or a circle. Obviously, a line doesn't have a radius. So you just pick. And while you're putting your dimensions in, you can use your scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out, click and hold it to pan around. And just place your dimension wherever you want it to be. And that's it. Dimensions are quite simple to put in once you have everything set up the way you want them. You start your dimension command, pick your first point, pick your second point, and then pick your location. Editing dimensions, though, can be a bit tricky. If you want to edit text, you can either type in ED, press Enter, and then select your text. Press escape to get out, or you can double click the dimension. Of course, here I missed and went to paper space. If that happens, come down here to the bottom and click on this model button. If that model button isn't there, then scroll out and double click somewhere out here. And as you see, it can be tricky. That's okay. That's why we have the ED or edit command. Now to edit the text, you just type in whatever it is you want it to be. It works just like your text editor. You have a lot of different options up here, and you can even delete the text that is the actual dimension. When you're finished, just click outside of your text somewhere. If you want your dimension back, use the less than and then the greater than. Now you can see the actual dimension or the actual measured dimension is highlighted. That's how you'll know that someone just didn't type in the number, which you can do. It'll show up the same way here in your drawing, but when you're in the text editor, it'll be highlighted, letting you know that someone just hasn't overridden the dimension. So that's it in a nutshell. We're going to look at different things in different ways and in more detail here in the next few sections.